Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I commit all our hearers, all those that are connected to this, to, 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 the, to the online, all those that are present in your sanctuary, I bring them unto you that this hour you touch them. Amen. Let every veil of the enemy be re receive fire, be consumed to ashes, that we may see you in the world, that we may be renewed, be, re be transformed, that we may not be the same again in Jesus' name. Amen. That we may receive patience to be able to wait to when you, the Lord, shall come. And when you come, that we may be able to dine with you in your kingdom. Father, let it be so in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done. For in Jesus' name we pray. I, I, I greet you in the name of Jesus. My brothers and my sisters, all you that are hearing me uh, and all you that are in the sanctuary, I, I, I greet you. I say you are welcome to a new month, the month of August. The month of August, the month of August is a new beginning. The eighth month means new beginning. And also in our ministry, it is the amount of we will receive help from above. Now, God said he will do a new thing. In the new beginning, he will do a new thing. He will do a new thing in the new beginning, which is in the new month. You, you and me will receive the help from above. We will receive the help from above. All those who are uh, in, the, in, the, in, in the house, all those who are connected to the house, I said this month of August, the Lord will do a new thing in your life. You will receive a, a, an assistant from above to prove his word to be true in your life in Jesus' name. What is God speaking to us today? It is through revelation. I receive a revelation that the Lord is at the door. That we were all waiting at the uh, 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 at the station. Many people and the train came. The train as it came so long, people through they said nobody should enter. That until when you begin to get a uh, begin to give you a, a, a pass, a a, a a a a pass to enter, a paper that is a pass that will give you passage to it. We tell you your cabinet, the cabin where you you will stay, because the uh, the train has cabins, and everybody has his own cabin. Now, and that was when I woke up, the Spirit of the Lord said, He is so, He will soon be, is here. And, and therefore, He put it in my heart to, uh, to, to speak to the whole world. It is high time to awake out of sleep. The topic is high time to awake out of sleep. Revelation 1 from verses 7 to 8. I read, Behold, he is coming with clouds, and every eye will see him, even they who pierced him. And all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of him. Even so, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. The Lord said, is about to come. He is about to come. Behold, he is coming with clouds. This verse is from Revelation 1. Seven to eight, and even when he was going, 
he was yeah, uh, he, two thousand years ago in Acts one from maybe nine and ten, eight, nine and ten, he says of oh, nine, seven, eight, nine and ten. And he says there that by the time Jesus was has been taken into the cloud has gone into the cloud that the, the, the uh, two angels were seen and telling the people that this Jesus that has been taken up to heaven you, you, he will come back again by the time he will, he will come back again all eyes will see him all eyes we see him my brothers and my sisters i say all eyes we see him when he shall come and that was what he was saying in revelation here then romans 13 11 to 14 and do this and do this knowing the time that now it is High time to awake out of sleep. Are you hearing that? It is high time to awake out of sleep. For, for now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Therefore, let us cut off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in the day, not in reverie and drunkenness, not in lewdness and lust, not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill his lust. My brothers and my sisters, in the first sentence, he said, you should know, uh, am I to, even with what you are seeing yourself, what is going on at this time? You should know that it is a high time to awake from sleep. It is high time to awake from sleep because the enemy is waging war. The enemy is waging war. And that is why most of the people now, this time is the time where the flesh is fight, waging war against the spirit. Those, those people that live in, this, in the flesh, they wage war against those that live, live by the spirit. And they will receive attack. So, and that is why Jesus said, it is you that overcome, because they will overcome you, they, they, will, they, will, they will attack you, but it is you who will overcome them. Because the power of God is in you. They don't want you to go to heaven. The power of darkness, Satan and his cause and his uh, agent of darkness, they don't want you to, to, to enter into eternity. They want you to, to be their, 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 to accompany them into hellfire. And that is why your, the, the, the enemy don't want you to go there. They envy you. But it is you who will say no to it. My brothers and my sisters. What did uh, Luke 19, 8 to 9 say? Then Zacchaeus, then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken any from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to, eat to this house, because he also is a son 
of Abraham. I brought Zacchaeus the day he received Jesus. We know Zacchaeus is a, uh, is a publican. He's a publican. Those who the, he works with, 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 with the government. He, work, he works with the council. He's a tax collector. And tax collector, when they go out, if they are asked to collect $10, they may force that person to collect $50 from them or $20 from them. And they will pay to the post of the government $10. And the, the other ten dollars will be will go into their pocket, and that is how the people, the people were, uh, they do not like they did not like them because they know they are they rob the people, they shit people, and they he became very rich. He was very rich because he was taking forcing people taking their money to them to himself. But the day he got Jesus entered into his house, he pronounced that from today I give half of my goods to the poor. And if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. This is restitution. What he has done is restitution. To have a turnaround from your way, from your own ways. But there are so many people, they call themselves believers today. And they say they are waiting for the Lord. They are in the church. And speaking to those who are in the church today, who call themselves believers. I am saying this so that you will not be, 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 be you, 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 you will not be, uh, be, uh, be disappointed on that day. When you think that we go in to reign with him and he will say, I know you not. He has said it. That not all the people that call me Lord, Lord, we enter, we, we enter into my kingdom. Not all those that call me Lord, Lord, we enter within. He will tell some people, I know you not. Because of what? Of the, because of the works of their hands. Because of their iniquity. Now, but you in as much, you are still alive today. Even if it is tomorrow, Christ will come. If you make a, a, a U turn today, you say now all that you have received forcefully from people, you restore them back. Many people they took land from their neighbors because of the position they are, because of the power they have. They took another man's land, they will take another man's house. They, take, they took some another man's uh, wives. They took another man's property. If you convert the company of one of a brother or a sister or a fellow uh, friend, they convert it to their, to their own. Ah, you will pay for it. This is the time you have to do restitution. I want you to look around you. Especially all those that all the people that work with government, that work with uh, companies, people work with companies, people work with government, that they have they have cheated the, the, the government, they have cheated people. Because I know in the government, what brought corruption to, to some countries, to some nations today, it is the work of the civil servants, the workers working in that company, workers working with the with, 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 with government, 
with their local government, their, their state government, or federal government. They are the ones that have brought corruption into the nations. Because without them, the politician cannot do anything. The politician are not in charge of the money, but they use the officials, the government officials, through them, they loot the money and share it with the officials. If I, if I allow you to pack one billion dollar, then you, you may give me 100 million dollars out of it. Then you go with your 900 million, uh, 900 uh, million dollar. That is what they are doing. And you will do it for another person. You will do it for another person. And therefore, made all, most of the uh, civil servants are very rich. They are all thieves. But for you to be able to get into the kingdom of God, you must do restitution. As Zacchaeus did it here. Don't say it is difficult. Zacchaeus was the person who said it here because he wanted to enter. This is true, true salvation. Genuine salvation. Because he wants to enter into the kingdom of God. My brothers and my sisters, restitution is a, is a necessity for believers. Restitution is a necessity for believers. All the accountants, accountant general, auditors, auditor general, all the uh, accountants of companies, of uh, uh, ministries, auditors of companies and ministries, they are the ones falsifying their books. And you are a believer. And that is why whenever somebody says he wants to uh, do something you, uh, in the church, you will not say you, 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 you bring certain amount. Stolen money. Stolen, you cannot use stolen money to please God. God will not accept it from you. Most of the offerings that many, of, many people have been making, they were not accepted. Not acceptable ones. Because the source where the money came from. My brothers and my sisters, all this at the time is now that you can do that correction. All these people that are causing uh, uh, evil in the country, causing uh, uh, famine in the country, causing so many things in the country, they are in the, they are part of us. They are in the church. When somebody retire, somebody who is in charge of to pay a retired person his money, we change his name and put another person there and the person who did not work from outside will be coming to collect the money to be giving him the money and be paying that person uh, uh, tips. And the owner of the money, when he comes, they say they don't see his file. The old man may die. Many old men died with hunger that they could not eat. It is not the government. Somebody inside that ministry Somebody inside that company, somebody inside that uh, 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 office is the one collecting the money of a retired officer, a retired uh, uh, person who is an old man, an old woman. This is why every time that they are now doing, reviewing the, the number of people working, you will be hearing ghost worker. Who brought the ghost workers? And yet, many of these people that are doing it are in the church. Even some of them may be pastors, some of them may be deacons, they will be elders in the church, building big, big houses, 
and that was that is what they are doing. I said, Yo, Jesus is coming now. Jesus is coming. You better change, you better do restitution, pay back, or restore back to those you have cheated so that you can make heaven. Amen. Now, also I read 1 Corinthians 7, 29 to 31. But this I say, this I say, brethren, the time is short so that from now on, even those who have wives should be as though they had none. Those who weep as though they did not weep. Those who rejoice as though they did, they did not rejoice. Those who buy as though they did not possess. And those who use this world as not misusing it. For the form of this world is passing away. What I have brought this one, read this one for, is that this is the time we have to be to sober. It's a time to sober, to look back, to see where you are missing it before. If he said the person who have wife, it's not the time of say, hey, hey, why? Is that why? Because to, to, be, to be saying you are enjoying your wife, you go on honeymoon, you go this, you go that. Is the time to seek the face of God, waiting on the Lord. He said, "The time we have, those who have wives should be as though they had none. Those who weep as though they weep not. There must be something that makes you to weep. God don't want you to weep, but stop weeping." And if you, are enjoy, if you are rejoicing, say stop rejoicing and be waiting for the Lord. Waiting for the Lord. And those who are using it, buying as if they don't possess anything. Those who are buying houses, buying debt, they should be as if they do not possess anything. To oppress the uh, the 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 the, uh, 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 the the poor and those who are using the world, who use the world, those as if they are not misusing it, because the the people using the world, they are the people misusing it, because they have the power of the world, they have opportunity in the world, they misuse it, they misuse it. He said, and those who use this word as not misusing it, they should not misuse it because it is passing away. Amen. Amen. My brothers and my sisters. Let us see what First Thess Thessalonians says. First Thessalonians 5. I want to read from 5 to 10. You are all sons of light. All the people I'm talking to, they are the sons of light. If you are, have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you have given your life to him. He who is the light of the world dwelleth in you. Then you and me become the light of the world. That's how it is. When the light, the original light of the world, Jesus Christ, dwells in you, you become the light of the world. You are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep. Me and you, everyone around you, in your family. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do. But let us watch and be sober. That's what I said. It's a time of sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night. And those who get drunk, are drunk at night. 
but let us who are of day be sober. We that are of day, God said we should be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God did not appoint us to wrath. Are you hearing that? I will repeat again. God, for God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake up, whether we are awake or sleep, we should be, we should live together with him. What he's saying here, the last sentence said that whether we wake or sleep, you know, believer don't die. Believer, when, when it is time, when God called you home, he just called you home, you sleep. You don't, you don't die. Because the person who die will die again. But the person who sleeps will wake up. Anybody that die is eternal death. But anybody that sleeps will wake up. It is when a believer die, uh, he sleeps in the world. As he sleeps here, he wake up in heaven, in the paradise. He wakes up in the paradise. It is the death. It is those the, 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 those who do not have Christ in them, when they die here, they don't wake up. They die here until the day of judgment. And that is why he said, whether we wake or sleep. Because when Jesus will come, some people will be on the earth. If God should delay his coming, there will be some people they will be on earth when he will come. Why some people will have slept in, in the Lord? So that is why what he saying. Therefore, let us God did not appoint us for wrath, he did not appoint us for fire, he did not appoint us to, to enter into the hell fire. He appointed us for to, to, to be with him, to reign with him in his kingdom. That when you pass from here, you enter into, into your paradise. Amen? Amen. So that is what he wants you for. So my brothers and my sisters, we have, there are things you have to do so that you can, you can gain all these benefits that God has given to you. For you to receive it, there are things you and me have to do that you may receive. You may receive it. John 9, I want to read John 9, 4 to 5. That is where Jesus said, I must walk the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can walk. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Now, I want you to know that a time will come. Not all the time one can walk. Let's be in the physical. I am about 70. Over 70. About 74, 75. Now, I've retired over 12 years ago. And being retired, then I don't work. Since then, I don't work. Which strength do I have to work? But I have energy to do all that God created me to do. But it's not the time for me to do any hard work anymore. I can't farm. I can't do any hard work. I have to take life easy. And therefore, there are times 
But when I remember when I was 20 something, 30 something, 40 something, 50 something, I know I was very energetic. I could walk. Then it was my time to walk. But the time to rest came when I got retired. Therefore, my brothers and my sisters, there are times to walk. And now is the time to do spiritual work. Now that we are alive, is the time we can do that spiritual work. That was what Jesus said. I must walk the works of him who sent me while it is day. While it is day in your life, while it, it is day in my life now, what I'm doing now is the work of Christ that he, he has sent me to do. It is still day for me spiritually that I must do the work he sent me. And I'm doing that work now. As what I'm doing now, I'm working for him. What he, he made me to see, what he made me to know, that I, will, I should open the eyes of people to see it, to know it. So, this work is for you and me. There are times we have to, it is now time for us to walk. All the uh, explanation I have said about restitution, about correcting yourself, it is you who know whom you are. You know the area you have blown it to transform, to, to repent from them. To retrace back your step to the path of God, to the path of truth. To the path, to the path of truth. So that the day will not come and you will find yourself, uh, 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 you will find yourself, uh, uh, what will I say, uh, uh, naked. James 5, 7 to 9. Therefore, be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth. Waiting patiently for it until it receives the early and latter rain. You also be patient. Establish your heart. For the coming of the Lord is at hand. I repeat. For the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not grumble against one another. Brethren. Lest you be condemned. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. Who is that judge? It's Jesus Christ. When he came in the beginning, is for when he came 2,000 years ago, Jesus came as a lamb. To be sacrificed. To pay our debt. To take away our sins. To open the gate of heaven for us. To connect us back to the to the uh, to the original place where we belong we belong to. But when he will come back, he will come as a judge, not not as a lamb anymore. Is coming to as a judge. When he came at the first time, he loved sinners. But when he will come the second time, he will hate sin. He will hate sinners who lived in sin. If you are living in sin, you better change. You better repent. You better repent. And that was why he said, he is coming soon. See how the, the farmer, when they play, you, you know the farmer, when they plant a, a, a maize, which is corn or wheat, they will wait until when that thing will germinate. They will begin to uh, uh, weed, the, to weed all every tears that are there. 
they will, they will clean it so that the you can have good harvest. So, and it will wait till when there will be latter rain, early and latter rain. And that is how it is, as you have heard. You also be patient, as the farmer is patient to have good produce, to have good harvest. You also be patient. Establish your heart. Establish your heart. Amen. Amen. My Lord, my, my brothers and my sister. The Lord, I, 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 will, I want to read Luke 12, 37 to 40. Blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. Assuredly, I say to you that he will guard himself and have him to eat and will come and serve them. Therefore, you also be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not do. The, the, in Luke 12, uh, 37 and 40 says, the Lord is coming in an hour you do not know. He will come, he will sit down with you and feed you. Amen. First Peter, let us read First Peter. Therefore, First Peter 5 and to read 6 to 9. Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be, uh, be, be uh, vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfast in the, in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. I say in the name of Jesus, God we establish you. We hold you tight. We make known his word. Amen. His desire for you. Amen. Even at this time. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Now, there's a song I want to sing. He said, the song says, I will make my life your dwelling I will build your throne in my heart. Come, Father, Lord, come. Father, come, son, come, Holy Spirit, come and take your place in my life. I pray in the name of Jesus. All the listeners, I say in the name of Jesus, receive that spirit. Amen. The Lord now, the spirit of Christ to dwell in, dwell in you, to reveal every area you have to do restitution, every area you have to repent, what you have, what you will do, so that by the time he comes, you will not be rejected. Father, Amen. let it be so in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That Amen. word that you have heard, let it be, be printed in your heart to transform you. You will never be the same again. Amen. So it shall be. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.